So, <laughs> we all know the story of the three little pigs, right? Who, who, who knows the story of the three little pigs? Okay. So, it's like once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs, right? And not enough food to feed them. Not enough food to feed them, right? So, when they were old enough, you guys, she sent them out on their own in the world to seek their fortunes. One built a house with straw, the other with stick, and the last one with brick. So for the straw and the stick house, the big bad wolf, we all know, he came and did what? And then what happened? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, they did. So they were in danger, and they were unsheltered, right? But the house that was built upon the bricks, what happened? He huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he couldn't blow it down. I, I, I know he always has our back. I know he does, and I, I, you know what? I know that's, I, he always has our back. But he huffed and he buffed and he huffed and he puffed and he couldn't blow it down because that brick foundation, it was steady, it was grounded, and it was rooted, right? Right? So you guys get where I'm going with the big bad wolf story. I, 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 I know you do. So, you know, our houses need to be built on that foundation as well, you know? We have to have a firm foundation, you guys. We have to have a firm foundation. This is how our houses should be built. The story sounds like our stories, you guys. When we are old enough to leave the house, we need to make sure that our houses are built on firm foundations of the word of God, you guys. So when it comes up against test, Toya, trials, Toya, tribulations, Toya and Ava, you know, we'll know how to stand. Because we're, we're victorious, you know, we got to believe in what we're saying. So we, 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 we may sway back a little, back and forth, just like I did, whether I was going to go left or continue to come here and do what he called me to do, but we will not be shaken. When we build on a firm foundation of Christ, we can withstand whatever comes our way. Matthew seven twenty four through 27, and you can put that up on the screen if you like Pastor O.C., it says, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who has built his house on a rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it, it was founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who has built his house on sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. So we got to continue to continue to build our house on a firm foundation. So, and I'm going to say this, too. So Pastor Angie, he's been working with me this, too. Pastor Angie, yeah, that's me. But anyway... <laughs> How do we build and maintain a firm foundation? Well, I'm glad you guys ask. I, I, I see it on your eye. I see it. I see you guys ask, how do you build this firm? I, I see it. I'm going to give you the answers. I'm going to give you some of the answers. So we need to trust God with everything. Not some, but all. Don't pick and choose what to trust him with and how. And, and know the promises of God are sure. We need to abide in his word where we see the power of God, the promise of God, the provision of God, and the presence of God. We need to apply God's word in our lives, believe it, live it, trust it, apply it, and pray according to God's word. And last, we need to have faith in Jesus and, and God's word, right? So along with building, that's fine, but you always got to continue to maintain, right? We got to continue to keep up the maintenance in our physical houses as well as our spiritual houses. So again, how do you do that, Angie? Pastor Angie, how do you do that? Glad you asked. Invest time into reading the scriptures, studying the scriptures, praying in the scriptures, seeking the presence of God in every decision, decision that we make. Inspect our foundation. Whew, jeez. Inspect your foundation. What we have based our lives on, allow the Holy Spirit complete access of your heart and soul, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you any area in every spiritual dispa disrepair. Acknowledge and begin the spiritual repairs without delays. Focus on every area that needs attention. 
We can't skip those areas, you guys. We got to maintain them. It hurts, but we got to maintain them. Ensure maintenance. We remain spiritually vigilant and seek to do the will of God in our lives. Decide to remain faithful, determined to listen to the Holy Spirit's prompting, disregard the temptation to the spiritual coast through life. 